Hello, I am Brittany Rowe. I am energy. I am powerful and I am who I say I am. The purpose of this video is to discuss perms, weaves, wigs, detoxing the body and the vagina. I just wanted to bring to you all attention the fact that perms are destroying our scalp. And when you destroy this scalp, you will begin to see a plethora of dandruff, the scalp trying to breathe. You will begin to see bald spots in the head because the hair follicle is no longer coming out because of the damage that has occurred from the constant application of the perm. And it is funny that we put perms in our head and we wear gloves on our hand, but yet we are placing this toxic chemical, a, a lot of toxic chemical in that application of the perm on our head, just in order for our hair to be straight. I'm saying this because I want to bring to your attention that it is preventing the head from breathing. And so if your head cannot breathe and your scalp is clogged up, how can you sweat? Because sweat is toxicity trying to escape from the body. So where is it going to go? And I just want to stimulate thought with you. I'm not creating judgmental uh, remarks to anybody. Let's think about this. Our head cannot sweat now. And then we throw a wig on top of it. And you have a whole funk factory sitting on top of your head. You know, and this is why we have a uh, good to a point in our journey where some women have a uh, like cornflake type dandruff coming out of the head. I once was one of those women. Wonder what the heck was going on. And so I'm not here for judgment. I'm here to just to share to maybe help somebody, but you know, you some people you can't tell them nothing. That's why I'm doing a video and using pictures. That way, look, they won't be like, who you, who the hell she thinks she is? You know, I would get, well, you get mad at the picture. Look at the picture. Get mad at the picture. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> anyway, if we throw a wig on top of our head, we have a whole funk factory going on, not to mention the fibroids that are being developed inside of us. And guess what else we are experiencing? A smelly vagina. Because let me let me bring to your attention how this goes. Your head, you can't breathe from your head. So then the body, which is infinite intelligence, it'll find another way to release this toxicity. It'll try to release it underneath your armpit. But if you have something called antiperspirant underneath the armpit, which clogs up the pores where the gang of lipnoids are housed, well, the body can't sweat there. So how's it going to be released? God forbid you have irritable bowel syndrome and haven't used the bathroom in a couple of days and think that's still normal. Well, it's, it's going to go to the vagina area. And so this is why we have smelly, well, one of the reasons why we have women with smelly vaginas. You know, you ever been to a party and you saw this beautiful woman, you know, you went to the restaurant and party or, I don't know, a club or wherever you were and went to a public restroom and there was a beautiful woman. That walked up in there with you. She, oh, she was on point. She was on point on the outside, but love when she went to the bathroom. My God, like, woo! So we are walking around just, just toxic. The portal of life is toxic because we're not allowing it to breathe. We are not allowing toxicity to be released. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. I want to provide some things that you could pay attention to. Maybe. Maybe if you still want to do the fake hair, maybe, maybe try for something that allow your scalp to be exposed more than the wigs or the heavy hair. So maybe the braids, something where you could have some parts. Maybe, just maybe, you can skip getting permed as often, you know? Cut back just a little bit on it. Try to make your natural come out. Try to put some gel on top of that natural hair a little bit longer. Something to allow for you to kind of like wean or pull back from the very thing that is destroying you. Or maybe you could try some braids next time, you know? Just whatever it takes to allow your head to breathe. I mean, I know people are not going to just jump off of the perm just because I said this, just because I created this video but another thing is when you choose your deodorant 
Why not do that? Choose a deodorant versus an antiperspirant, which will allow your armpits to breathe because we have a lot of lip noise underneath the armpit. And that toxicity does need to be released. Just think about it. Only pigs is the only type of little animal that is clogged up. All of its pores are clogged up. It does not sweat. It holds on to its toxicity. Why are you holding on to yours? You are not a pig. Let that out. Yes, it will be stinky and nasty in the beginning. It will drip like a leaky faucet. But guess what? It needs to come out. Maybe you could get you a Ziploc bag. Get you a little towel, a little soap, and your new deodorant. And go to the restroom maybe three times a day in the beginning until you get that toxicity out. And speaking of deodorant, you could, you don't necessarily have to get a deodorant. You could do natural. They have these natural mineral rocks. You wet the tip of it, and it's a pure mineral rock. And you rub it underneath your armpit, and I tell you, it will hold you throughout the day. Not in the beginning. Nothing is going to hold you throughout the day in the beginning when you go from antiperspirant to deodorant. But once your body regulates and catch up, once it stops dripping like a leaky faucet and catch up, the odor will subside. And then, then you'll get into a healthy balance. Because the vagina itself is self-cleaning. But it is hard to clean it when, when, when it got to clean it. Plus, it got to clean the stuff that's been draining from you not being able to release toxicity in other areas of your body. Clogging up the portal of life. Don't get it twisted. Diet does play a key role in all of this. So if you're walking around here eating cockroaches, a.k.a. crawfish, or bottom feeders, also known as catfish, or the most toxic of all animals, the pig that holds on to all toxicity, it is no wonder the inside of the body is has become toxic because it's, it's, it's a breeding house for all type of parasites. You know, because these type of uh, animals and bottom feeders, they do just that. Eat anything at the bottom of the water, dead carps, poop, and all kind of things. The pig itself, it'll, it'll, okay, I don't even want to talk about that. You know what they do. So anyway, diet is key. And so for that lipnoid drainage, I want to share something with you about the lipnoid drainage that'll help you. And that'll be grapes. That'll be seeded grapes. And if you put two and two together, you remember, you know, like any movie that you see where they're God or goddesses, they feeding them grapes. And it is so interesting that they feed them grapes because grapes is so powerful that it'll clean up that liver. It'll clean up that lymphatic system. It'll allow that drainage to occur so the toxicity can be expelled out of the body. It'll clean up the intestines, you know. Those kidneys, you know, the th very thing that's supposed to be filtering all of this toxicity out of you that's probably clogged up, you know, that's probably why your back is hurting and back is feeling so tight and uncomfortable because you're not allowing that to flow. So a good thing for you to do is for you to get you some seeded grapes and begin to consume more seeded grapes. Put them in a blender and drink you some fresh grape juice with the seeds inside. Of it and that'll help the lymphatic system flow for you i also offer on my website a detox blend it's called sustain detox that'll give your body the minerals that it needs and help to purge toxicity heavy metals and old fecal matter out of the lining of the intestines and give you the energy and mental clarity that you need and allow your bowel to move instead of being full of poop in any case i just wanted to share that with someone who may need it who may not know Remember in the biblical text, Jesus was a sweet smelling savior. <laughs> and black woman as the goddess of all humanity, at your best, so are you. From my heart to yours, rise black woman, rise. Be blessed.